the most snuggly and cutest, but it's still adorable, <laughs> it's, you know? <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> Let's take a look outside where we are still a little bit windy in some areas, all the way from Estes Park through Bailey down towards Salida and down close to Walsenburg right now. But again, it's so much better than where we were earlier this week. Still in the foothills, though, we are going to find some stronger winds from Longmont through Estes Park through Berthet Pass in Georgetown. Winds are about 20 to 30 miles an hour. And the winds are going to crank up again tomorrow. We have start to have a cold front that will work its way through. So we do have uh, uh, red flag warnings, fire weather watches tomorrow for winds about 30 to 40 miles an hour and with humidity less than 15%. For northern Colorado, Yuma, Kit Carson, and Cheyenne counties as well. Temperature is much warmer as well today with some slightly calmer winds in some spots. Or anything from 7 to 15 degrees warmer for the front range in eastern plains. And as you head up to the west, you're anything from about 5 to 10 degrees warmer than yesterday. So that puts us at 55 in Denver right now, 59 in Boulder, 55 in Fort Collins. Some upper to mid 40s out on the eastern plains. We have the 30s and 40s in the high country right now. 62 from our weather watcher Larry and Brush out on the eastern plains. And we have 60 degrees here downtown as well. 64 both downtown and out at DIA earlier today. So warmer than yesterday when we had only 51 degrees and that is still above our average of 52. Satellite and radar in terms of any real activity we're on the quiet side. We just have some cloud cover this evening but we are watching a storm up in the Pacific Northwest. This area of low pressure is going to make its way through uh, the uh, northern part of the United States. Clips maybe Colorado as it uh, heads towards the Midwest but we may see a little bit of snow in the high country starting tomorrow night through Saturday but it will also usher in some cooler weather with an associated cold front. We could really use some snow. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it may not make it all the way down to the southern part of the state where we still have extreme drought levels and our severe area has gotten a little bit more widespread. That's kind of the darker tan color on your screen and that's because our snowpack is so uh, below average right now. Statewide, we're only at 69% and again, southern Colorado, well below average right now. Satellite and radar, we are clear tonight. Tomorrow morning, we wake up to maybe a little cloud cover and sunshine mixed in there and then as the afternoon goes on tomorrow, you'll see some more clouds and then overnight into Saturday, that's when the snow potentially could fall with maybe a little bit of rain on the eastern plains. We're not expecting a ton, maybe three to five inches in some spots. Now tonight, 33 in Denver, 35 in Boulder, 29 out in Burlington, teens low 20s in the mountains. And tomorrow, still warm outside, 66 in Denver, 67 in Greeley, 60s, even some 70s out east, 40s, 50s in the mountains. And for your five-day forecast, 56 on Saturday. Don't forget to set those clocks forward before you go to bed Saturday night because the daylight saving time begins on Sunday at 2 a.m., which immediately changes us to 3 a.m., and then next week we're fairly mild. We'll spring ahead. Yeah.